Yolanda Marie, or Yanni for short. And today I am here with someone near and dear to my heart. We have made some amazing magic and art together. And we are gonna talk about how we met and how we made one of the most iconic photo shoot art projects of ever yes. that I absolutely love. It's probably my favorite piece in my portfolio. <laughs> like my favorite project in my portfolio. And so, yeah, we're just gonna kind of chat about how we met, how that project came about, and then how it is now an NFT. Yes. So, yes. So, for starters, we actually were internet friends. Yeah, we were, we were definitely internet friends. I'm not sure who found each other's profile first. Yeah. I'm not sure, like, where that, what, you know the timeline of that but there yeah. was i think there was this like mutual like gravitation towards each other yeah you know and um somebody slid somebody's dms and i was yeah. like oh my god i love you i think i was the one slid in dms i think i slid in her dms and i was like i love your looks i love your art i love your paintings and i love your style would love to shoot with you and she's like oh girl yes yeah i'm I love florida <laughs> yeah i know i'm like i'm in florida and i was and like Oh, I'm in Maryland. And she told me that she had stayed in Delaware for a while, but that she'd gone back to Florida. Florida yeah. So yeah, so literally for like the next several months, I was just like, just in my head about like, how do I make this happen? And just kind of like journaling about stuff and writing down like, you know, I would really, really like for this to happen. Definitely. And then um, in 2016, my father passed away. And so I just felt like, you know what? Life is life. You just okay. gotta do it. So I think 2019, I finally was just like, you know what? Yeah, let's uh, let's, <laughs> let's book it. this flight to Florida <laughs> and go here. And it was amazing. It was amazing. I literally picked her up from the airport in my shitty fucking car. Shittiest car ever. I'm it's had to have smelled like dog. I think the window was busted out of it at that point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like the window all taped up and stuff. And I was like, this girl is gonna think that I'm just like the trashiest human <laughs> ever and she's gonna want nothing to do with me. And I'm so embarrassing. And she was just nothing but positive energy and, and good vibes. And she was like, no, I'm, I'm here for all this. Like this yeah. you, let's get in here. Like, and, and it was just like, like instant, an instant connection. Yeah. yeah from, from day one. I mean, even on the internet, it was an yeah. instant connection. It was. So we went yeah. from like messaging essays back and forth on the internet, right. just talking about random stuff. And then it went to, yeah, we should, connect and create. So I flew to Florida, she picked me up, and yeah, I was talking about her car, and I was just like, no, dude, we're here to make art. I'm here for yeah, it. Like, this thing yeah. gets you to and from, that's what we're doing. And the whole car ride, we just talked about life, we talked yeah. about what we were struggling with, we talked about what was frustrating, we talked about toxic exes, we just talked about everything, just held space, and then we yeah. got to where we were doing the shoot, and it was like, wow, it feels like we've known each other for a long time. And I was doing all this in like full blown clown makeup also. Mm -hmm. And she was like, yeah, I love this. This is totally normal. Like, <laughs> yeah. So we drove around and then we didn't know where we were going to shoot. We were looking yeah. at random stuff on the side of the road. And then she took us to Little Talbot Island. It's a very cool spot. Yeah. And it has all these sort of trees and branches that have fallen over, but they have this cool, like rustic white looking yeah. vibe to it. Um, it's very much like Lion King elephant mm -hmm. graveyard vibes. Yeah. yeah. And it very actually cool. happened to be an overcast day when we were shooting. So the yeah. sky had this weird, hazy, yeah. overcast gray that actually wound up showing sort of pink on camera. So it kind of just had this pink, gray, dusty hue to it. And we just went with the flow. We totally did go with the flow. We just started shooting. She just started picking up random things and like <laughs> posing with the branches that were falling. And yeah, it was just like a soul dance almost. It we was, was a like, soul dance. I was like, this is my like nature loving hippie soul sister. Like I'd never yeah. had that before. She was like barefoot and mm -hmm. just like 
you know, you know, some people are like, uh, like real prissy. Like I don't <laughs> like nature, and mm-hmm. I was, and she was, and I'm like, you know, I I grew up in the woods and stuff, so mm-hmm. I'm just like what can I get into? And, mm-hmm. and she was right there with me, just like catching the vibes. And I was like, well, this is beautiful. Like yeah. I found my match. Yeah. yeah. And we had so much fun. Cause yeah, she it was, was so out there fun. in the sand. I was right out there with her. Yeah. Like we walked over the dunes, got into the little preserved grassy area. Well, we weren't supposed to be. Yeah, in. we were yeah. Yeah. To be in, but <laughs> we got the shots and like, full out committed like even to the point i got a pricker stuck in my foot and she was like are you okay pulled that bitch out and we kept going i'm going <laughs> like i i love i love that how much we both love like nature and yeah. and and just you know that energy and the vibe, the vibe. So yeah, so we shot, we pretty much shot all day and it was almost like, I think it was a two day trip for me. So yeah, she took me back to the hotel and I just immediately started looking at the photos and just like sending her pictures from my phone, from the computer screen, like, dude, look at this. <laughs> this looks so awesome. And they and they did, I, I mentioned that earlier, I was like, prior to that, I was like, I don't want to be shot by another person. like. Mm it made me really uncomfortable. And then like, I seen like, just her natural uh, ability as a photographer and her ability to catch, capture like a good angles and to know someone's good sides and to to know the right time to push the button and, and capture it. Like that's a skill I don't think a lot of people realize like what what talent you have to have to be able to, to do things like that. But she really like, you helped me see like the beauty in myself for sure. and. You know, that was like a, it was like an irreplaceable experience, you know, it was such a like, I, I don't think I would, I would be in front of the camera as much as I am now, mm-hmm. you know, without that. So I definitely thank you for that experience. You're welcome. And thank yeah. you for trusting me. Cause I was so yeah. nervous because when you DM me and we're like, you said that I, I've worked with photographers. It's been an uncomfortable experience. I right. really don't know if I want to do this, but I love your art. So I felt yeah. immensely honored that you were even willing to like roll the dice on me and Definitely. see what would happen. Cause I totally Definitely. understand that whole, no, somebody got weird and this was uncomfortable and I just right. don't want to do that anymore. I completely respect right. that as well. So I felt so honored that you were just like, no, yeah, if you want to do that, let's, yeah. let's try. Yeah, and you were just so accepting of like, I don't know, There, back then I just felt like I was I had a bad situation with my ex and I just felt like dirty all the time and like my shit was busted and, I was, and, the, and you just accepted me like for who I was, you know, like unapologetically and I, you know, I needed that, I needed you. I'm glad that, I'm glad that the internet like allowed for this like soul connection to happen. It's cool. You hear a lot about, about a lot about meeting shitty people on mm-hmm. the internet, but there needs to be something said for like just like the really great connections that the internet can create also. So yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And yeah. I think same for me. I definitely needed you at that point. Like I needed something to make me feel like I was actually validated as a photographer and could make some good art kind of what you mentioned earlier about when you haven't created in a while and you just feel pent up i was going through that like i didn't touch my camera for a good minute after my father passed and so i really felt like i needed something to affirm to me that this is your lane you really can do this so when you said yes i was like if this can't pull me out and i don't make some magic here then yeah maybe it's time to set it down but the fact that as soon as we were making magic yeah as soon as we connected and the magic that came out of it day one and i just immediately felt affirmed in wow meeting a good person good people is possible but also creating connecting genuine art with someone like how you said you love that i love the nature i love that you love the nature because i want to be down here i want to walk away and be dirty i want to feel good taking the shower because i stink and i sweat and you know there's dirt in my fingernails and so like yes dirt in the fingernails (laughs) right right that's what I want. That's what makes yeah. my soul sing. So when you were all about that and you were like, let me hop in this tree, let me <laughs> hop in this palm, let me hop in this bush of palms and like pose yeah. like this, let me pick yeah. up this fallen tree branch and just like hold it up here. Let me do back bends and contortions in the sand and stand on these sand dunes. I was like, this is my girl. Right. This is my right. girl. Right. 
so yeah, that just it was he- so it was healing on both sides. I love honestly, that. love that for us. I love that for us. <laughs> <laughs> so then, fast forward, um, we were in the panini, <laughs> the pandemic, and uh, Pitchfork Shaw he actually started telling me about NFTs and. Of course, I had no idea what any of this was. Right. Um, but he started explaining to me that it was another way to be able to show and share your art, but through the virtual Web3 world and that it was tied in with crypto and so many of these other interesting things that I'm even still learning about. But he was just like, you should put out a project. People are changing their lives as artists and being able to sustain themselves through this Web3 environment. And so I was just like, well, what are my best pieces and the first thing that came to my mind was Alia, our No Man's Land shoot, and then Elise, our Element Personification shoot, all shoots that had something to do with nature, if you catch my drift. Um, <laughs> and I just, and then Marge, our, our first shoot I did with Marge, but when Alia, I text all three of them at the same time and Alia hit me back first and I was like, okay, the universe is spoken. I was like, <laughs> it's No Man's Land. Um, and the inspiration behind titling it that was how we both have this huge passion and love for nature and how we both feel like we're just visitors here and that as right. people we try to like claim to like we own this property or we own this right. land and so No Man's Land was kind of burst of the idea of like what if we could just coexist peacefully right. like what if we could be outside like Alia was out in the sand and the grass and the dirt amongst the trees and respecting and right. finding a symbiosis with them versus yeah. being this existence, this oppressive existence of just like, this is mine and I can take as I feel and I can kill as I feel, but more so, what if I could find a respect for the land and the idea that like no man owns these lands that the lands belong to the earth to nature um and i think that was kind of where the idea we kind of just rolled, <laughs> kind rolled, just rolled with with it. It. Yeah. yeah um and it the project honestly brought itself to life just through that idea and i just kind of wrote some of my thoughts about what i felt no man's land meant to us and i sent it to her and she was like i love it she was like i love nature and i love your words and just yeah. This is this is facts. This is what we both felt when we met that day. You definitely have a a way with like articulating a concept, you know. But mm-hmm. I don't I don't think I have the uh, eloquence to do. But you're very good at thank you at articulating. Thank you to my mother, who was a speechwriter, who was not gonna let me get away <laughs> with not being articulate because I can appreciate that now because yeah, my yeah. childhood. It was tears about right. the grammatical errors. <laughs> yeah. But I can appreciate it now. So yeah, that was how No Man's Land came to life. We were both just like, it just continued to be a push and pull wave of both of us just exchanging creative energy and being okay with each other being ourselves. So when I said, I was like, yo, are you okay with me releasing this as a project? She was yeah. like, yeah. And I was like, and oh, you want to yeah. split with me? And she was like, no, like do your art and make your coin and just yeah. thrive. And it just reminded me there are just beautiful people in the world who just want you to do well, yeah. do you, and thrive, and who will support you in your endeavors because what? There's so many reasons why we don't think that's possible. And then to know right. that somebody I met from miles and miles away on the internet right. became like someone who's like got a special place in my heart forever, you know? Likewise. So much so that now she has a bundle on the way. And we had and to And she's drive. an auntie. Yes. She's going to be an auntie. <laughs> had to drive all the way from Maryland <laughs> to see this wonderful human and capture her pregnancy experience. She's turning into a portal for life. Yeah. Yeah, and we are so thrilled. And so we just wanted to chat with you and give you a little behind the scenes on how one of my most iconic projects came to life and just... How people who've heard me tell this story know that it just really happened. It right. was one of those, all right, follow this gut feeling. Right, it definitely was. Yeah, and it just, it created itself. It did. And so I'm really grateful. I'm really excited. And yeah, you guys can see the project. It's on OpenSea. It's still for sale. It is my Genesis collection. And now you've met my Genesis muse. No Man's Land is forever in my heart. 
and yeah we actually have more exciting photos coming because we have captured her in this phenomenal state of transition <laughs> and birthing so excited i can't yeah. thank you enough for coming yeah. again and and being a part of this very special moment yeah, I, when you said it, I was just like, okay, so I know in X amount of months, I have absolutely got to make it to Florida that. to document this can't for you. Can't thank you enough. I really You're can't. So welcome. And I knew it was going to be something just phenomenal. I knew the ideas weren't going to be your standard pregnancy photos, anything. I knew it was going to be <laughs> art. So I was like, yeah. oh, she needs pregnancy photos. Let's let's hop in the car. Let's <laughs> let's go. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thank you so much for coming and allowing me to capture you again. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. You're so welcome. It's always a pleasure to you. And thank you for tuning into this story. We'll be sharing more about our story. You can catch her artist touch coming soon where she shares the story of her life and her creativity and who she is as a person. And yeah, this has been so fun. I, what? Oh yeah, it's NML. What? Oh yeah, nml.lovelawdemarie.com. That's how you can see the No Man's Land project. And if you feel so led, you can purchase a piece and support these creators in continuing to create and be awesome little humans doing their human thing. So yeah, thank you for tuning in and we will see you later. I'm Yolanda Marie, Yanni for short. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. Bye.